Hi, and welcome back to my channel. In this video today, I will be showing you how to create digital stickers in Canva. These stickers are going to be Valentine's themed. You can use these techniques to create any kind of digital sticker. These stickers, along with some other ones that I will design, are available in the description box if you'd like to purchase them. I have another video where I show you how to create digital stickers in Canva, as well as the pre-cropped GoodNotes stickers. I will leave that video linked in the description below. Head to Canva.com. Once you're in Canva, you're going to head to Create a Design in the upper left hand corner. So for these digital stickers, we're going to create a square document. Click on Custom Size in the left side panel. We're going to leave our units in pixels and make the width and the height both 3000. Once you've entered in your dimensions, hit Create New Design. For these digital stickers, I'm going to use shapes and lines that are already available in Canva and put them together to create our digital stickers. And when you're designing your stickers, a good tip would be to design one sticker per page. In this video, I will be creating five digital stickers. Press R on your keyboard to bring up a rectangle. So this sticker is going to be like an envelope that's sealed by a heart. So with our rectangle, I'm just going to extend the sides to make it look more like an envelope. Once you have your rectangle, the desired shape for the envelope, you can move it to the center of your document. I'm actually going to make my envelope a little bit bigger, but I want to maintain its proportions. So to do that, press and hold shift while you're adjusting the corner of the shape. So that way it maintains its proportions as it gets larger. And so now I'm going to put it back in the center of my document. And now I'm also going to change the color of the rectangle. So with the rectangle selected, head up to the upper toolbar to the color picker. I'm going to click on the plus to add a new color. So with these digital stickers being Valentine's themed, I'm going to be using pinks and red and white for the colors for the stickers. Once you have your color for your envelope, now it's time to add in the heart. If we head over to the left side toolbar and head to elements, and if you go to shapes and click see all, and then find the heart. So the heart is here on the page and it actually made it the same color pink as the envelope. So I'm going to go up to the color picker, click on add a new color. I'm actually going to make the envelope color a little bit lighter. I'm going to click on my heart and make it a little bit smaller. You can make the heart taller or thinner by adjusting the slider. You can press and hold shift while adjusting the size of your heart to maintain its proportions. And so now I'm taking my heart and moving it to the center of my envelope. If you head over to elements and I'm still in my shapes, so I'm going to click on this upside down triangle. So now what I'm going to do is take this triangle and move it to the top of the envelope and then place it behind the heart to make the envelope flat. And so I'm just adjusting my triangle until it looks like an envelope flap. So with this triangle selected, I'm going to right click. I'm going to click layer and click send backward. So now it should be behind the heart. Now I'm going to change the color of the triangle. And so now I'm just making the triangle a little darker than the envelope. And so with this sticker here, you can either leave it as it is for a flat look, or you can decide to add a shadow or a border to any of the elements that created this digital sticker. And that's also the thing with digital stickers. You can take an initial design such as this one and you can duplicate this page and then make changes to it. So if you wanted to leave this one as it is and maybe add shadows to one, duplicate it again, maybe add like a border to all of the shapes, that will really allow for you to have several different iterations of the same sticker. So for this sticker here, I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to head above the page and click on the duplicate page icon. And so now what I'm going to do is just add a border to all of these shapes. So here you have a, another iteration of that sticker that we just created on page one. And so all I did was just clicked on each individual element and added a border to it. So the next sticker that I'm going to create is basically multiple hearts stacked on top of each other. So I'm going to head above the page and click on the add page icon. And what I'm going to do is actually take the heart from page one copy it and paste it onto page two by clicking on the heart and pressing control C on your keyboard. And then you can do control V to paste. So in order to be able to put multiple hearts on top of each other, 
I'm going to make this heart pretty large. And so now I'm going to duplicate this heart a few more times and each time I'm just going to make the heart a little bit smaller and then after I do that I'm just going to change the color of each of the hearts. So here are my four hearts. And so one more thing I'm going to do to this digital sticker is I'm going to add a border on the outermost heart. So with that heart selected, I'm going to head up to border style. So I'm going to increase the border and I'm also going to change the border to white. So I changed it to this light pink color. So the next sticker that we're going to create is going to be like a checkbox sticker, but the checkboxes are going to be little hearts. So I'm actually going to head above this page and click on the duplicate page icon. And the reason I did that is because I already have several hearts here on this page and I'm going to either use all of them or some of them in the checkbox sticker. But the first thing I'm going to do is select all of the hearts and you would do that by clicking and dragging with your mouse over all of the elements and you'll know all of them are selected as long as the purple selection rectangle touches all of them. So I clicked and dragged with my mouse and I'm selecting all four hearts. And once you have that, just let go of your mouse and all of those hearts will be selected. And so now I can change the size of all four of these at the same time. So I'm probably going to use this first heart here because it already has the heart and then as well as a border. So that makes it look more like a checkbox. But to create our checkbox sticker, press R on your keyboard to bring up a rectangle. So now that we have our rectangle, you can decide whether or not to make it portrait or landscape. So I'm going to make it landscape orientation. So all I'm going to do is select my rectangle and then I'm just going to make it into a landscape rectangle. So once you have your rectangle at the size that you want it, now I'm going to add in the hearts. So I'm actually going to change the color of my rectangle. I'm just going to click on it, head up to the color picker and I'm going to change it to the light pink color. And since I changed the color of the rectangle, I'm going to change the color of the heart as well because now it's getting washed out. And actually what I'm going to do is change the border color to black. And then I'm also going to make it thinner by heading up to border style and decreasing the border weight. And I also made the border a dotted line. And I also made the heart a little bit smaller. So now I'm just going to hit Control D on my keyboard to duplicate my heart. So I press Ctrl D on my keyboard to bring up several duplicate copies of my heart. And then I'm going to take this heart and I'm going to move it to the end of my rectangle. I'm going to select all of my hearts. So what I'm going to do is use the method of using the selection rectangle to select all of my hearts. So I'm going to click and drag with my mouse, making sure I hit all of my hearts, even the one that's all the way to the right. But once I do that, my rectangle is also selected. I don't want to select my rectangle, so what I'm going to do is press and hold shift and click on the rectangle to deselect it. So now only my hearts are selected. With those hearts selected, I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on space evenly and tidy up. And so now it's spaced all of my hearts evenly. And so now what I'm going to do is select the rectangle and put it to the center of the hearts. So now onto our fourth sticker. So this sticker is pretty much going to be a heart. Again, when I was thinking about the designs for these stickers, this one kind of seemed like, you know, like a cookie. If you were to frost a cookie and to put like several different little sprinkles on it, that's kind of what this sticker is going to be designed as. And so I'm actually going to head back up to page two and I'm going to duplicate this page because I already have a heart that's pretty large on here and I'll just use that large heart and then delete the other ones. So I'm going to head above the page and click on the duplicate page icon. And when it duplicates a page, it puts it directly under the page that you're trying to duplicate. And you can adjust the order of the pages. So since this is the fourth sticker, I want this to be on page four. So to get it to page four, click on the move down icon that's above this page. And so now it's on page four. And so now I'm just going to delete these three smaller hearts. 
And so now with the heart selected, I'm going to change the color of the heart. So since I was thinking of this as like a cookie with like frosting on it and random sprinkles, I'm going to change the color of the heart to like a tan color. And then I'm going to change the color of the border to like a darker tan color. So I think what I'm going to do is make a duplicate copy of this heart, but change it to white. So that kind of signifies like frosting. So I think for the sprinkles, I'm going to use a line. So type L on your keyboard to bring up a line. So I'm going to make the line thicker by going to line style. And I'm going to increase the line weight. And then I'm also going to do rounded endpoints. I'm going to click that option. So I zoomed in here so you can see what those rounded endpoints look like. So here are the rounded endpoints. And then I'm going to turn that option off so you can see the difference. So with the rounded ends option turned off, the line has a blunt ending. So I'm going to turn that rounded endpoints option back on. And then what I'm going to do is make duplicate copies of the line, change them to different colors to make them look like sprinkles. And while I'm making these duplicate copies of these lines, I think I'm going to lock both of my hearts so that way they don't move while I'm making copies of the little lines. So here's our fourth digital sticker. So now onto our fifth and final digital sticker. So for this last sticker, I'm actually going to head up to this icon above this page and click on add page. So this sticker is going to basically be like a frame. And so it'll consist of rectangles as well as small hearts. So I'm going to press R on my keyboard to bring up a rectangle. And so I'm just going to adjust the rectangle so that it's a portrait orientation. And then I'm going to hit control D on my keyboard to duplicate the rectangle. And also while I'm here, I'm going to change the color of both of these rectangles. So the rectangle that I just duplicated, I'm going to make it white. And then I'm going to make this rectangle a little bit smaller by pressing and holding shift and adjusting the size. And so for how I want the frame to look, I may have to bring the sides of the white rectangle in a little bit more because basically what I'm going to do is add little hearts around the border to make like a heart frame. And I'm also going to change the color of the larger rectangle as well. So I changed it to this light pink color. So now it's time to add the hearts. I'm going to press R on my keyboard to bring up a rectangle. Once I have my rectangle, I'm going to head up to the upper toolbar and click on edit. So when you go to edit, you can change what shape it is. And then I'm going to click on the heart. And so now I'm going to adjust the size of the heart. So then basically all I'm going to do is just duplicate this heart several times so that I can create a border around the rectangle. I feel like the best way to do this would be to get all of the hearts at the top border, duplicate it to the bottom, and then fill in the sides. And then I'm just going to duplicate it a few more times to fill up this top section. So I made several duplicate copies of the heart, making sure to place one in each of the corners. And with them all selected, I'm going to right click, click on space evenly, and tidy up. So now what I'm going to do is select all of these hearts, copy and paste them to this bottom part of the rectangle. And so here's what we have so far. And I could decide to leave it like this, but I'm going to add in more hearts on the left and right side of the rectangle. And then we have our heart border. And so here are all five of our stickers. So first we have our heart sealed envelope, our gradient heart, our heart checkbox, our Valentine's cookie, and our heart frame. So once you have your digital stickers all designed, now it's time to download them. 
If you head to the upper right hand corner and click on share, click on download. So in order to get the best results out of using these in your digital planner, you want to save these as a PNG with a transparent background. So PNG was already the suggested file type for these stickers. If that wasn't the option that was selected when you went to download, you can just click on this drop down and pick PNG. And you want to make sure you check the option that says transparent background. Then you're going to select the pages that you want to download. So I'm just going to download all of them. And once you have the pages selected, click on download. The ability to save PNGs with a transparent background is a feature that's only available right now in Canva Pro. I'm going to insert a clip of me using these digital stickers in my digital planner so you can see how they actually work. So this concludes the video on how to make digital stickers in Canva. Remember to check the description box if you want to get your hands on these Valentine's themed digital stickers. And I will also link in the description box my first video on how to create digital stickers in Canva. Remember to check the description box for any resources or products that may have been mentioned in the video. If you found this video helpful, let me know by hitting the like button, subscribe for more videos like this, and hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. And as always, thanks for watching.